Hello, this is Coy, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage and to the mess that is on my desk. Okay, it's been um, it's been a, a week or two since I've made a video, and I'm in the art room this morning and just puttering around with some of the um, junk jewelry. You, sh you wouldn't believe how much is over here, just this you know, this big collection of charms, but I'm pulling out some that I thought I might put, make to use a tap, make a tassel for my Mexican journal. Some of you that have been here for a while probably remember oh, this journal. Oh, all right, I'll have to fix that. Hmm. Be careful. Okay, this one we worked on. There's a whole um, playlist on how we made this journal. It was fun. And I thought I would make, since I have all this jewelry and I have things in these colors, I pulled out some things in these bright, festive Mexican colors. Look at that thing. Look at that. I love that right there. Okay, this journal was fun to make. I painted some Frida's. I painted her. Oh, and both of them. Uh, painted those. And um, just did a lot of really fun work. It was fun making this journal. Anyway, because I have all of a sudden all these things in these colors, I thought maybe I would try to make a um, tassel. For the journal and since I was pulling everything out I thought maybe I would just turn on the camera and bring you along with me oh look at this little thing right here one of those worry dolls what are those called where's your foot oh there's his foot I thought he was missing a foot he's not Okay, oh, maybe we can do something with this. I don't know, I feel like we have quite a bit to work with here. So, let's take a look. I have these giant yellow plastic things. Oh no, you know what? I definitely know that I'm going to use Frida. I want to use one of these Fridas. Let's see. There's big ones and there's smaller ones. This one isn't very colorful, but it's a good size. It's nice and small. So we could use that one. This one's a medium. I like her blue. She was probably going to be good. Um, are these a little large? I guess not really. So maybe her. Okay, we'll use one of those two. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I pulled this out to use Frida. All right, so... There's that. And then these things are kind of amazing. And they all match this journal so perfectly well. But this is going to be on the spine. So what would look good here? And with Frida. Let's see other Frida. I think I'm going to use this one. It's a better, do you think it's a better size? I do. All right. You go over there, Big Frida. So there's a red. There's blue. Which definitely matches also. Yellow. Yellow. 
That's another red. I guess it's a deeper color red. And green. Green matches the uh, trim up here. Pretty well. All right, I think it's going to be red. You can let me know in comments which color you would have chosen. I'm going to go with red. <coughs> now let's just decide. Do we go with deep red? Or with a bright red? Bright red it is. All right. And <coughs> I guess we could use a jump ring or something. To connect Frida at the bottom. And there's already a clip here. A little bulldog clip. It's silver and everything else is gold here. Maybe we could mix it up and use something a little more gold. I don't know. All right. So we could use ribbon. Yellow. Blue. Our bulldog clip. <coughs> Let's see what happens with the bulldog clip. Oh, this Frida's um, the same on both sides. <coughs> Maybe we could use a little piece of chain or ribbon. There's this. I kind of like it up high. Can you say? Maybe up there. Let's see. Should we put a bead on it? Do we have a colored bead? I don't have any out on my desk for sure. Hmm. Not, we're going to keep moving. I didn't intend to make this an all-day project or anything. I don't think the holes are big enough on these beads to use that. Maybe that one. Blue.
maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Is that cute? Hmm. Definitely the hole is big enough, but I don't know if I like the blue. I hear my fire um, alarm battery is running out in the living room. The other three all ran out at the same time, and I changed the battery, and now this one is acting up. How about... Not one of these. Well, there's yellow. Yellow. Is yellow and yellow good? Alright, let's just check. And if not, we'll leave it without. I'm not crazy about this one. No, I'm gonna use without. Unless, it's us. Oh, we have beads. Tiny holes. Here's a big one. That would work, it's big. All right, let's just check. That and that. And if not, we're gonna carry on. limited space here on my desk so let's see no that's not it you're definitely not it sizes. I made sure it was the same. I guess when I tied the the little knot, without that knot, we wouldn't be able to do this for sure. Tweezers. Okay, let's try this. Again, Okay, I'm playing this whole thing by ear. That's, um, I wasn't completely organized and ready to do a video. I just had all this stuff pulled out and thought it's been a while since, um, I've been here and I miss all of you. And I know this is not really junk journaling. Not paper. All right. This bead is not easy. What was the other one? I'm raveling my um my cord. Tell you something about these uh, tweezers. I don't know why, but right in the place where you want to put your hand, I guess you're supposed to put your fingers on these ridges, but I tend to put mine down there and there's this pokey thing. Can you see the pokey thing? There's that nail thing. 
<laughs> it pokes into my thumb and I forget that it's there. All right, this isn't working. All right, you're gonna be without bead. No, you're gonna be beadless. Okay. One decision. All right. Beadless. Now, let's see. First of all, I want to even this out again. That seems the easiest way to do it. Um, all right, we'll worry about that afterwards. I think I might have to use um, a jump ring or something. All right, what else do we want to put on here? A tassel? Hmm. We have some tassels. Yep. All right, maybe one of these. That's kind of cute. All right, you're definitely an option. All right, I could remove this, use a jump ring and add that. These are so long, I would have to cut them. They're too long. Mm, I prefer that one to this one. How about this? Yep, found it. Now let's see how we're gonna get it on there. Jump ring. I don't have like a bronzy color jump ring, I don't think. Let's see what I have. Yes, I do. They're not bright, bright gold. Oh, well, that one is. There we go. Yay. All right, there's that. Okay. I think that's Alexa letting me know that a package is. Mm, I don't know that. Alexa, never mind. Don't say the A word. <laughs> Don't say the A word. All right. My jump ring. Jump ring 101. Twist them front to back, not opening them left to right. Where is this thing? Okay, if you open them out, it, that's bad. You have to do, you have to just twist them front to back. All right, like this. Let's see, there's not a loop there, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Okay. There's that. 
And here's this. Oh, I love it. And it's just the right length. It's not going to be too long. Mm. I just have to figure out how to get it on that bulldog clip up there. Do we want to add anything else? Let's see. Maybe nothing big. These will these are not it. Um, we have colorful beads. Oh, these are a good size, maybe. I have red. Blue and yellow. Red, blue, or yellow. And do we even want them? Not red, but we got red. We want blue and yellow beads or not even? Not really. No, not wooden beads, I don't think. Gold. Little golds. Filigree ish golds. Maybe that and no, that. Somewhere between this and this. Choices, choices. We've got choices. I want this little cross somewhere. Do we want this little cross? Maybe we can just put this up here with Frida. Let's see. Would we do this? We would want that first. Now you definitely would need a jump ring. So you would face the right direction. Let's do that. close enough. It's not a bright gold, but it's fine and dandy. Let's see. Okay. I 
All right, this is not something that I do often, so I am not an expert. I'm, this is not really a tutorial. It's just me stopping by to say hello to you and letting you know what's going on in my art room today, the Eclectic Cottage, and to let you know that I've missed you, and I do intend to come back with, you know, junk journaling on a regular basis. It's just things have, you know, there was a burnout, first of all, the burnout, um factor after the 100 day project it was a th real thing and um i've just had a whole lot going on so much going on and i will be back but i have not been you know in the art room every day like usual um Sometimes we're in a, a place, not really a dark place, but a place where things are not as inspiring. Do we like the little cross with Frida? Do we want to also maybe put a little bead there? Let's see what we have. A little one, a little one, a little one. Wish I would have done that before I closed it, but I'm going to open it one more time, which I don't like to do a lot of opening and closing, opening and closing. I don't want to weaken my jump ring. doing let's see let's do this let's hold you with this one and open you with this one and if I need to I'll get a new jump ring on it and yes again if I need to I will get a new jump ring You too big? Yes, you are. Maybe just a little seed bead. Since we still have them out right there, I don't know. As small as you are, you still feel kind of big. Bead the hole is probably not going to fit through this. You? I have a friend that was just asking me what I use for, um, <clears throat> You know what kind of things I use for finding, you know, findings, and it really is not something I've given a lot of thought to. So maybe I should. Maybe there should be little tiny jump rings that are not so so thick that I could add on here. Maybe this one could go on a jump here. 
Okay, I'm mumbling. Let me, I can fix this. I can do this. This is not rocket science. It ain't rocket science. First of all, I'm going to use a different jump ring. That one has been... Where's all my little wire? I have a little wire. Okay. We're starting from scratch. We're starting from scratch. All right. Hold it with this one. Open it with this one bead on here. Which does not want to go. It doesn't want to be on there. So it doesn't have to. I need smaller jump rings, yes? One size does not fit all, obviously. So here's this. Here's this. Uh, it would have been nice to have a little bead, but that's okay. So you hang there. And you. Why do you want tend to want to go to the back a little cross? Oh my. Okay. Let's skip the cross for now. If it fits on later, fine. If not, fine. Should we use a little piece of chain here instead of this? Because I'm having trouble figuring out how I'm going to get... Hmm. Do you want to be just a decoration? Maybe. All right. Maybe have a little piece of chain.
short. Let's see how short it says. Shorts on it. I wrote shorts on it. They must all be short pieces. There's that. I saw somebody wearing a little ring that holds this thing still while you close it. That might be a good idea. Anybody know about those? It's a little ring that you stick in this side and then you can just turn this side with the, uh, you know, with the pair of pliers. It seems like I had one of those before, but never used it. Um, I might not have known what to do with it or what it was for, but I don't know where it's at at the moment. I think it's still packed away with my things in Florida. off without having to cut it. If we need to cut it, we will. I don't think I have the cutters on my desk. Okay. I think that worked. Oh, I really like it. All right, let's see if this fits on here. If not, we will use a regular old jump ring. I am just winging this. This is not something I'm used to doing. So that's why I feel a little clumsy, look a little clumsy doing this. But like anything, with a little practice, you get better. So don't be afraid to experiment with things that you're not great at because you can still end up with something great and you can maybe find something new that you're passionate about maybe we'll start having a uh, junk journal jewelry uh segment 
at the Eclectic Cottage. Who knows? We got enough of it. We've got enough of it. Oh boy. <laughs> I am still looking for ideas on what to do besides, you know, besides a spine dangle like this. Um, I think that there are, you can put your little charms on paper clips. You can put them on um, bulb pins and add them to something that's going to hang off the side of the journal. Um, I wish you could just put them on paper clips that would be on the top, but they would fall back into the journal, so that's not a thing. But anything on the side would work. Um, you could use the safety pin things and clip it to the front of the journal. Um, what else? Tell me some of the things that you do with your charms. Junk journal jewelry or that you have seen others doing. And we'll take a quicker, you know, a closer look at it here. Let me know if this is something that you would be interested in seeing more of. If it is, that would be great. If not, we'll just focus on paper and fabric and thingies. Okay. Oh, this one is just so bulky. I have another small one somewhere. Where's my other small flyers? They were on the desk. Or I could hold that maybe with the tweezers. Oi. All right, this definitely is going to take a little more practice. <laughs> what is this? Do this first. All right, I'm a little quiet. Let's see if this regular jump ring will work out better. Okay, how's that? I think it needs a little something else, but for now, that's just perfect. Okay, I think I'm going to call it um, a video. Um, again, I just wanted to stop in and say hello to all of you and um, turn on the camera, show you what was going on in the art room. I'll say goodbye for now, and I will see you real soon.